Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Loom. We have one final thing to do, and that is to dull the blade. Edgewise, is that blade not ready yet? His Excellency is still waiting. The metal is proud, sir. It does not yield easily to my blow. More sweat will soften it, I trust. It will be a blade to be reckoned with. A blade of reckoning? It does have a certain apocalyptic ring to it. I trust I will not be kept waiting much longer. Good metal rewards patience, exalted one. And our client rewards quick service. Now pound! Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and ADDC. It might help to point at something first. ADDC should dull the weapon. Oh, boo hoo. Your plans are over. What? What evil is this? Not quite. A witch's curse has twisted the final blade. A curse, Edgewise? I think not. It would take more than a mere witch's curse to ruin my plans. You there! Could it be that this little prank is of your doing? I don't know, but let's save it. Just in case it is. Yes? Well then. I would be honored to have you as my guest at the cathedral. I know some other curses that may amuse you. Oh, great. Curses are fun. So let's fly on your dragon to your castle thingy. I'm getting really tired of this. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bishop Mandible, trans-ultimate apostle of the anti-secular conclave of clerics. I know. Am I expected to kneel? Silence, you impudent punk! This is my assistant, Cobb. Charmed, I'm sure. And you require no introduction. Your cloak and staff betray your origins. But I must say I'm surprised to find you here. It's been quite a long time since any weaver bothered to leave that dreary little rock you call home. <laughs> Doom. <laughs> so provincial. I can't help but wonder what impelled you to leave it now. His Excellency asked you a question. I know. I'm ignoring it. Ah, recalcitrance. I see. Shall I fix the uh, instruments of persuasion, Master? Please forgive my assistant his eagerness. I fear Cobb is not very worldly. He does not understand the dangerous power of a weaver. Dangerous? You reverence him? Quite dangerous indeed, my dear Cobb. In fact, he could burst this flimsy iron cage open with hardly a second thought. That's impossible, most exalted one. I inspect the locks personally every fortnight. Observe and learn then, for even now your prisoner plans his escape. Well, the only thing that we can select is the cage door, so we might as well show them how we can escape. You see, Cobb? An elusive breed, these weavers. Fortunately, however, they are quite helpless without their... Weaving sticks! That distaff will never work for you! Oh no, my young friend, you're quite wrong about that. Come, let me show you why. Consider the common graveyard. There, the boundary between the living and the dead is indistinct. Every graveyard's like that, so? Now, imagine what might happen if this delicate boundary were to be somehow breached, torn open, so to speak. 
It's not that simple. You can't just rip the pattern apart like an old rag. But it is that simple, my boy, and I can. I have only to lift this rod, and the legions of the dead will stream forth onto the plain of the living. A vast army of the dead, nourished by the shepherd's flocks, armed by the artisanship of the blacksmiths, guided by the glassmaker's sphere, all under the spiritual leadership of one supreme commander, me! He's lost it. The final hour is now at hand. The age of the clerics is upon us. I have preparations to attend to, Cobb. Don't let this boy out of your sight. He is to touch nothing. Do you understand me? <laughs> Perfectly, Your Excellence. The only reason he trapped us in the first place was to learn the open draft. Ruler of the universe. Mm, I do like the sound of it. I'll have to change my station. Ha, ha, ha. You're not so dangerous now, then, are you? Well, let's take a look at the, uh, the crystal. Keep away from that! His eminence said not to touch anything! I wasn't gonna touch it. Just looking, Cobb, that's all. Just looking, eh? Well then, perhaps we can do a bit of a trade. How about I let you look in the sphere if... if... what? Well... The legends say that to gaze upon an uncloaked weaver brings death. Naturally, we clerics aren't given to such silly superstitions. But I'm curious. Let's answer this one once and for all, shall we? No! May we have some quiet, please? I can't even begin to invoke the dead with all that screaming. Well, he can't say he wasn't warned. Alrighty, well, let's take a look at the sphere now. That again? Hmm. Yum. Looks delicious. More food? A feather. Okay. Doesn't mean a whole lot, but uh, we'll get there. I see Cobb has been back to his duty. No matter. You're just in time to witness the dawn of a new era. You don't have the slightest idea of what you're doing. Pattern is already worn and frayed. If you rip a hole in it now, the consequences will be beyond anything you can imagine. Spare me your weaver mysticism, boy. The time has come when the dead shall no longer envy the living. You've torn the pattern completely open. And with it, the eyes of the dead. Behold! I have a very bad feeling about this. Next time on Let's Play Loom, we find out what the bad feeling actually means. See you then.